Okay, awesome. Well, hey, Britta, great to see you. Hi, good to see you as well. How's everything going? Good. How about you? Good, good. Uh, thanks so much for jumping on to do this with us. Uh, for those of you watching, um, I am speaking with Britta Hart, who I'll ask to introduce herself in just a moment and tell us a little bit about what she did. Uh, and we are having a conversation around Move for Amira. Um, for those of you who don't know, Move is an opportunity to call attention to this reality that when women recover from the issue of trafficking and exploitation, it takes a tremendous amount of grit and courage. So we ask people in the Amira community all over the United States uh, and increasingly beyond um, to pick a challenging activity or a goal uh, that's difficult for them to call attention to the courage and the grit that's experienced by the women that we serve. So um, we are going to have a, a short conversation with Britta now and just hear a little bit more about what she did, what inspired her, and, uh, and what happened uh, in Move from Mira last year. Uh, so thanks again for doing this, Britta. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. So um, um, I'm okay, so if you, if you would, go ahead and just introduce yourself. Uh, I know I've already said your name, but um, go ahead and introduce yourself, where you live, and uh, and who you moved with last year. Okay. Um, I'm Britta, and I'm currently in Southern Rhode Island. Um, and I did my move with Remy Cycle, which is a, a little bike shop in Westerly. Um, and what we decided to do was set up an opportunity for anyone who um, wanted to join to do it at their own pace and like pick something um, that they could customize. But we hosted um, through that shop and mm -hmm. I work there as well. So that's, that's yeah. why. <laughs> cool. Okay. So it was a community event. Everyone had their own kind of agency and deciding how far they went and what they did, but it was sort of hosted by the local bike shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. So um, tell me a little bit about your story personally. I know you had a lot to do with introducing this. What was the motivation? Why did you decide to move last year? So I think it was on maybe a Giving Tuesday or something a couple of years ago. And I was really wanting to um, just get more connected with different organizations um, around my own community. Um, and I have like worked in the nonprofit world and, and definitely have a heart for um, just like seeing restoration in, in people in general, but also um, like ending human, human trafficking and just being an advocate for um, people in that sphere. So I happened upon Amira Inc. Uh, just on a Google search and it's mm -hmm. not super close to where I live, but definitely was on my mind since then, trying to figure out ways to somehow support or get connected and then move for Amira came up. And I think um, I'd gotten an email or something from Amira connected with you and then um, had this, this idea um, utilizing the cycling community because that's already an active thing um, and just getting people involved through that. So. That's amazing. I love the sort of initiative represented in your story of learning about it, actively Google searching, and then connecting from there is, is amazing. So you may have already answered this, but um, just in regards to your current connection, your existing connection with the cycling community, but how did you choose the particular move, the activity? Because, um, you know, viewers will understand that you can bike, you can run, you can swim. You, somebody skydived a couple years ago. A sweet woman pushed her walker up and down the hall of her nursing home for her move. Um, there's so many different things that you can do. So how did you choose your move, the move that you did last year? Um, so I kind of consulted with different coworkers um, and there's so many different uh, facets of cycling. So we did a few different routes and kind of used our shop as like the starting point um, and just mapped out uh, different mileage depending on the level that people are at and what would actually be difficult for them, like something actually challenging. Because um, something for me as like at, at the time, 
wasn't cycling at all. And I wasn't even planning on participating, honestly, in that way. Um, yeah. But I was wanting to organize it. And then like the, at the last second, I was like, okay, I really, I need to do this. So um, I ended up doing like mapping out with coworkers, a 30 mile loop, a 50 mile loop, and then 80 mile loop. Um, and so a few people did the the 80 mile loop because the wow. other ones would be like regular, just like a casual ride for them. Um, yeah. But I did a 30 mile loop um, and I'd really never biked since I was a kid. So that was yeah. like, yeah, that was my, yeah. move, I guess. That's amazing. And that's, and that's not easy to jump on a bike and do that when uh, that's not normal. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Well, that's so amazing that the variety of um, distances that you had available for people, your own willingness to both organize and participate is incredible and inspiring. Um, are there any fun stories, any ways that you saw God move or just things that you want to highlight and say, this was a really cool kind of moment within our move for Amira? Um, one of the most interesting things, I think, because for me, um, this was not like a new cause is something that I had, um, like had interest in advocating for from mm -hmm. high school onward, but bringing that into this community, it was really interesting. The conversations that came up where people really had no idea, um, mm -hmm that this was something like it just never would have um, come up, I guess. Um, yeah. So it, it just sort of opened a whole um, new, um, yeah, I don't know how to explain, like a new level of um, care. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, and that's, and that's one of our great hopes for this event is that it would be an opportunity to, yes, we know it's going to raise some money. We know it's going to um, be a fun opportunity for the Amira community to do exciting, different, interesting kind of things. But one of our big hopes is that as more people engage in challenging activities, that it'll lead to more conversations. And ultimately that leads to awareness, mm -hmm. which is a huge um, part of the fight against this issue. And, uh, and there's a million little conversations that can be had. So we're so encouraged to hear that that was your experience. Yeah. And I think um, we were sort of, it, it was almost like a pilot sort of seeing how it would work last year. Um, yeah. And when I checked in again, when it was like um, starting to get into our, our spring season and asked if people were willing to do it again, um, the responses were so enthusiastic um and that was really encouraging that it feels like we can step into it um even more confidently um yeah. this year and and bring more people into it um and then having a lot of others who participated who can then um start bringing their other people and um yeah. new ideas in in how to um get involved in how to move so that that's what's exciting about um, moving forward it seems like something that will be a lasting partnership almost yeah. yeah yeah oh that's incredible and we love it that whole communities are involved and uh and there is something that is like um regenerative regenerative about this event it's like yes it's re it's restorative for women but it also is like energizing for communities themselves to year after year come together to be a part of something that's bigger than our normal lives. So yeah. we're, we're really grateful for that. Um, so maybe that's the answer to the question already, but what are you planning to do this year? Are you biking again? Are you running it back? Or are you doing something totally different? Are you gonna go skydiving? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I am personally planning to try to do a 50 mile. Oh, wow. Ride. Um, okay. You've and, got two months to train, good yeah. luck. <laughs> and that'll that'll be quite a challenge but something uh really interesting for me as well is after the move for Amira um like I genuinely did not think that I would be able to complete a, a 30 mile ride because I'd never done it before and then since then figured out that I actually really love cycling so yeah. that started something totally separate um for me and like 
uh, something that I was totally uh, anxious and fearful of and not not believing that I could do to mm-hmm. now being like, okay, I think that I can challenge myself further. Um, and I think a couple mm-hmm. others who have said that they'll they'll join, I don't know what kind of crazy thing they're gonna come up with. One one guy is wanting to run one of the loops. Last year he he's not a cyclist, but he ran the 50 mile loop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> crazy people. So it's it's exciting. Um we still have some time. So we're gonna sort of brainstorm in the coming month and and come up with some solid awesome plan. yeah yeah that's so cool well and sharing your own story too that honestly gives me chills because that is exactly what we want people to know from this event is that like your experience with I didn't think I could do this and then I did it and I discovered strength in myself and you know um things that I enjoy doing that is what we see happening all the time with women at Amira. Uh, who have come out of the horrors of trafficking or exploitation or prostitution and they have these fear these very real fears i don't know if i can do this uh but then with communal support uh sort of like move from here just this like movement that's sort of happening they try and they find that they can and then they find joy and so thanks for sharing that part of your story that's a beautiful illustration of what the women um, at amir are experiencing regularly so um well, Britta, thank you so much for taking time to answer some questions. We're so excited to see what you guys come up with this year at Remy Cycle uh, in Rhode Island or just you personally, uh, however it kind of all shakes out. So, um, but we're grateful for you. Thank you for being a picture of the courage of the women that we serve. And um, and we look forward to Move From Here at 2023. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks so much and um, have a great day. All right. Thank you. You too.